Hello everybody, welcome back to the theartoftrading.net. This is Trader Stewie with you here once again. I wanted to do a video today um, about, you know, just a, a this is a little um, technique, a little tool which I use a lot, you know, to help me, you know, you know, keep in touch with what's going on in the market, you know, try to, you know, uh, you know, as, as many people might or might not know, you know, when I, when I place trades, you know, whether it be long or shorts, um, you know, I like to get in usually, you know, it, you know, w with the momentum of the market, you know, for example, like it's very rare for me, you know, to, to do shorts, you know, if the market is ripping, if the market is moving aggressively higher, rallying, it's very rare for me to take shorts. You know, I usually like to focus on longs because I like to trade, you know, with the path of the market. Like I usually like to, you know, take trades, you know, uh, going in the path of least resistance. You know, that's something I say all the time. You know, y you want to make it easy on yourself. You, you know, taking shorts as the market is ripping higher, you know, that's that you're making your life a lot harder. I mean, don't get me wrong, some traders can do it and do it very, very well. However, you know, that's something that I, I am personally, I don't, it doesn't come easy to me. So I, I like to play the market to my strength and my strength is to usually trade with the trend of a market. So anyway, um, let's just get to, the, to, to, to what, what I really want to talk to, this to do this video about here. And it's basically how I use the stochastics, which is an indicator which I use often, how I use it, uh, you know, to help me time in, you know, and I use the word time, time the market very loosely here, you know, because, you know, timing the market can be very, very tricky, but I mean, there are ways where, where you can try to pinpoint like, you know, instances, instances where the market can be at, at a lower risk or, or at a higher advantage to enter than others. So this is a, this is my way of doing it here. I just want to share it with you guys, and maybe it might it might help some of you. It might not, you know. But at least it's worth sharing, you know. So anyway, here we go. So you can see here, this is a 60-minute chart, 60-minute chart of the SSO, which is the ultra sh uh, ultra long S&P 500 fund. So uh, you know, if the S&P 500 goes up, uh, you know, one uh, one percent, this one in theory should go up, you know, twice. That's that's what it should do. It's an ETF, exchange traded fund. Um, so anyway, so here we go. So this is a 60-minute chart, as you can see right over here. 60-minute chart. Okay, and so I like to track the price of the SSO, which is right here. And this usually goes back to about, let's say, a month, maybe a month and a half, two months even sometimes. I like to get a, like a nice bigger picture, a nice bigger view of what's going on in the overall market using a 60-minute time frame. Um, because, you know, sometimes in the 60-minute charts or the 15 or 30-minute or charts even, you can see patterns that you otherwise are hard to detect on the daily charts. So when you zoom in into the 15, 30, 60-minute time frames, you know, it might be easier to spot like a bull flag or, a, you know, or a falling wedge pattern, you know, or a bull pennant pattern, uh, uh, you know, you know in, in the smaller time frames than you would if you were otherwise trading only just p p uh, trading purely on the dailies, on the daily chart. So anyway, so here we go. Look, look at this, guys. You have the stochastics up here on top. The, this is the price action here um, on the on the lower on the lower part of the graph. And as you can see here. What I like to do, guys, is I like to track the, st the stochastics, and I like to look for what I call two tests. So we're looking for two tests of the lows on a stochastics. For example, after a rally, after we see a small rally or a small bounce or, you know, or a medium-sized bounce, you know, whatever, any sort of bounce that you see in the SSO, you know, SPY, you know, whatever, whatever ETF you, you, you choose to do the study on, and you can see here we had a rally that started here back in uh, back in mid uh, mid to late June uh, mid to mid to late July. You can see that here, guys. Okay, no, mid to late June. My bad. Sorry, mid to late June. We had a rally. It started. It started to rally. Moved up here quite nicely. And as you can see here, guys, we started to pull back a little bit. So when we, you know, uh, you know, n no market goes up straight forever. Okay, Ma the markets go up. They pull back. 
they go up, they pull back, they go up, they pull back, they go up, they pull back. This, you know, this is a very, very, it's very, very normal to see that. Every now and then, you know, you might see a rally that looks like this, where it goes straight up. But, you know, eventually it's going to come back, it's going to retest, it's going to correct again. But the bottom line, what I'm trying to do here, and I'm trying to use the stochastics to my advantage, is I'm looking for the first test of the stochastic so after a rally phase I'm looking for the stochastics to rise up with the rally so you can see here during this rally phase the stochastics usually go up with the rally okay now as the market as prices starts to correct lower the stochastics should as well start to correct lower to unwind that overbought condition we see up here see that so this overbought condition here as price starts to come down and correct lower the stochastics should in theory come down and then get into you know hopefully oversold conditions because once we start to get into this oversold condition which is below 30 see that the 30 mark here on the on the stochastics once we start to get below 30 that technically is an oversold condition on the stochastics but that does not mean that it's an automatic buy that doesn't just because the stochastics hit 30 every time doesn't mean it's, it's a buy signal and it's time to go long you know that's that's a little bit too easy you know the market that you, doesn't usually give it to you that easily so you have to you know you have to do a little bit more you have to be a little bit more you have to use a little bit more finesse you have to use a little bit more skill and patience and this technique hopefully will help it. So what you do now, once you get the first test of the of the oversold condition, which I marked here by this red arrow. So the red arrow tells us this is the first test uh, on the stochastics below 30. The first test of the lows of the in, in the oversold condition of the stochastics, marked here by the red arrow. So you can see here it cor it corresponds with around this area here on the SSO. So you see that. You know, it was good for maybe like a small little bound, you know, but nothing, nothing too playable in my opinion. So what you do is you wait, you wait a little bit now. So you wait for the stochastics to bounce back up from this oversold condition. It has to revert, you know, it, it's all about, you know, bouncing, bobbing and weaving between oversold and overbought. That's what markets do. That's what the stochastics, the stochastics do as well too. So we had here a little bounce in the stochastics, which corresponds with a little bounce here in the market. And then check this out, guys. And this is where you need to pay attention because this is what what what, what the whole video is about. We're looking for a retest of the on the stochastics. We're looking for a retest of the lows, and this is exactly what we're getting here. You can see that. Uh, so as the price in the in the SSO rallied, it bounced here. It quickly collapsed and then made a new low. See that? So it, we 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 rallied here nicely, came back down to pull back, had a weak bounce which corresponds with a weak bounce here on the stochastics came back here now we had a weak a weak bounce on the SSO and then we broke down to make new lows here for the SSO but look at this guys this is what this is what we to, what we need to pay attention to and this is where the buy signal comes in for the S for the stochastics check this out this now we have here a higher low so so the price on the SSO made a lower low this was being this was the first low now we're here we're getting into a, a situation where we're making lower lows on the SSO however the stochastics is making a higher low see that and I'm, I'm doing this here by putting a, re a, a blue circle and then a pink sl upward sloping line here which tells me which should show you guys that even though price made a lower low the upper circle here and the and the pink line are showing higher lows on the stochastics so this to me if I see this in real time I'll be starting to look for longs at this at this point so I'm looking for longs because I know that the selling on the, the, the this part of the selling is not being confirmed by the stochastics so that tells me that the sellers are not as aggressive as they as they seem to be so price in this case is showing deter uh, is showing a divergence. So you have a divergence uh, between the stochastics and price. Anytime you see a divergence where the momentum indicators are not confirming the move in the price, that tells you that momentum on the downside is not strong enough to keep to continue. So that tells me that anybody who's short would be looking once they see the market start to recover even a little bit, these shorts are gonna have to cover 
and then let's say when you and then and then you can see here there's a there's a nice clear beautiful little mini bullish flag or a, or a bullish falling wedge pattern and when bulls see this th this is a time to get long see that so you have this beautiful pattern here of a bullish flag or a bullish falling wedge pattern you know followed by a non confirmation of the stochastics making a higher low price made a lower low stochastics made making a higher low you can see here by the circle and the upward sloping li uh, pink line which doesn't confirm the momentum lows here on the, so that tells me a short squeeze is coming so boom you can see that market rallies so now now stochastics are doing the same thing again now they're back into overbought so now we have to be a little bit more careful now because you know trying to place longs up here now gets a little bit risky with stochastics being this elevated you know so because chances of, of a pullback are high we don't have to get a pullback immediately but chances of a pullback are high when stochastics get get up that high so so now you can see now we just we it's gonna be a waiting game again we can wait a few days or you know a, a week or two whatever you know however long it takes for the stochastics to come back down here again see that so price rallied nicely came back down again now we're retesting we're, we're retesting you know the, the the rally that started here we're retesting it again this time the stochastics came down with the price you can see that price is coming down nicely stochastics came down nicely the red arrow indicates the first oversold condition as we head down below the 30 point on the stochastics let the stochastics move up a little bit let the you know as here look, in the, look at this guys here the market rallied the stochastics rallied as well too and now we came back down again to retest the, sto the low so we're retesting the low on the of the stochastics the market on this rally failed made a lower low here so this was the initial low on the SSO we made a weak bounce which corresponds with a weak bounce here in the, in the stochastics followed by a breakdown here on the on the on the SSO price however look at this guys once again look at the blue circle look at the pink line these are showing you that there's a non confirmation in momentum so as the price breaks down momentum indicators are telling you the downward pressure is not as strong so therefore we need to be looking to get long to get long in this situation we're not looking for shorts at this point when you see something like this is a very bad idea because you're gonna get squeezed because the momentum on the downside is not strong enough to warrant new short positions or you know you know what I mean so you have to be very very careful and if anything you want to be looking to get long somewhere around this area here when you start to see this kind of this sort of divergence so once again we're rallying here on the stochastics the market rallies as well too you know and you know so short term now we're overbought stochastics here overbought again and once again the cycle comes back again red arrow shows you right here where we're, we got into oversold here on the stochastics but we never buy on the first on the first uh, oversold condition of the stochastics you know like I said that's too easy what you what you want to do is you want to wait for a weak bounce and then the weak bounce we want to see the weak bounce fail once the weak bounce fails stochastics makes a higher low and you can see it here clearly so the red arrow shows you where we're oversold on the stochastics which tells you to pay attention not to be long but to pay attention wait a couple days wait for the stochastic to get up there again weak bounce weak bounce for, for the price as well too and then we come back down again retest the lows made a higher low here on the stochastics and this is the time to get long so so you can see here and then once again we're rallying we're rallying we're rallying we're rallying stochastic stayed up stayed up stayed up never really came into oversold here until this signal right over here see that so lot like once again we don't we do not buy the first stochastics low we do not buy that we wait wait for a weak bounce once the weak bounce is over then look for a follow-up look for a higher low on the stochastics and hopefully ideally you want to see a lower low on the price which tells you that there's a non-confirmation momentum so as the price is making a lower low on the on the SSO momentum on the on the stochastics is not confirming making a higher low 
giving us a buy signal. So this would be a time to get long somewhere around this area here. The minute you start to see the stochastics making this higher low or start to curl back up, up here, then would be a good long with a stop loss underneath the price lows here, a low risk entry. Okay, so once again, re rallying again, you know, same story, guys. Okay, and you know, and, and as we go along, you want to try to pinpoint some patterns. You know, if you can, if you can find some patterns like here, like a falling wedge pattern, here you have a bullish wedge uh, uh, pattern, here you have a falling channel, a bullish wedge pattern, same thing here, a falling wedge, bullish wedge pattern. If you can spot these patterns coupled with the you know with these momentum indicator not, uh, higher lows higher lows th this makes for a very very good you know trading system in my opinion so you can see here guys last week um, we had a we had a beautiful beautiful high level bull flag which is the reason why why we we stayed long most of last week and you can see this was this was the, really the pattern even though we had a fed meeting uh, what I was looking at the most was this pattern over here, which to me looked bullish all the way. So this, this to me really kept me on the long side last week. And you can see how here it broke out nicely. And look at this, guys. Once again, now we're getting, we got this big over, this uh, this uh, overbought condition here on the SSO, which coincides with an over, very overbought condition here on uh, on the SSO. We got a, a, a overbought condition here on the stochastics. Now, guys, look at this. We're coming back down, which corresponds with a correction here in the market, which we have been seeing the last few days. So now this chart now is live. This is exactly what we're seeing right now. Market hours are open. So this is exactly what I am seeing right now as the market is open and a trading. So we can see here there's a small little bullish channel, which looks exactly like the one we saw back here. Look at this. Do you see a do you see a similar price action? I do. So right here, and now you can see guys here stochastics coming down deep into the over 30s. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a red arrow. Okay. So this is the red, this is the red arrow. I'm gonna email to the subscribers. I'm gonna email the the the, uh, the progress of this pattern to uh, our trading member subscribers. And you can see here, so we do not buy the first low, just like we did here. Ideally, you don't want to buy the, f buy the first low. Wait a little bit. Let's see how it looks on a bounce. Let's see if we get like a weak bounce. Maybe price continues lower a little bit here on SSO. You know, and then if we see, if we get that higher low, like we've gotten here and here and here and here and here and here, if we can get that signal, the higher low on the stochastics and hopefully a lower low on the SSO, that would be, in my opinion, a good time to look for longs or, you know, for low risk entry longs. So hopefully this video helps, guys. And let's see how it looks over the next few days.